Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding number of seniors and juniors to join the company part 2. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the Pandas schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called candidates with three different columns, employee ID, experience and salary. Employee ID is the column with unique values for this table. Experience is an enum category of types, senior and junior. Each row of this table indicates the ID of a candidate, their monthly salary and their experience. The salary of each candidate is guaranteed to be unique. Okay, a company wants to hire new employees. The budget of the company for the salary is $70,000. The company's criteria for hiring are keep hiring the senior with the smallest salary until you cannot hire any more seniors. Use the remaining budget to hire the junior with the smallest salary. Keep hiring the junior with the smallest salary until you cannot hire any more juniors. Okay, write a solution to find the IDs of the seniors and juniors hired under the mentioned criteria. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have six different people. Three of them are juniors and three of them are seniors. So the hiring should start with the senior with the lowest salary. So employee ID 11. Then next you move on to the bigger one. Again, senior, you need to firstly keep hiring the senior until you cannot, right? So then you 20,000. So out of 70,000, you have used your 36,000. What is the remaining amount after hiring employee ID 11 and 2 is 34,000, right? 70,000 minus 36,000. So can you hire this senior? No, because the salary is 50,000. So now you move on to the junior and now you need to start with this lowest salary. So lowest salary is 10,000. So you can hire employee ID 1. Then what is the remaining amount? 26,000. You can hire employee ID 9. What is the remaining? 11,000. Can you hire employee ID 4 who is also a junior? The salary is 40,000. No. So you can hire 11, 2, 1 and 9. And that is what you have in our output. So basically this is a question of calculating rolling sum, right? But it should be done twice. Let us see how it is going to be solved. So the first thing that we should do is for seniors and juniors, let's try to find out the rolling sums and go from there. So what we are doing is from this table called candidates, let us keep all the three columns that we currently have and then perform a sum of the salary column and since we are using this as a window function over and then let us partition by the experience column and then order by the salary column in ascending order and let's alias this as cumulative salary okay let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if you look at this, right? So we have that, okay, the lowest salary for senior was 16,000 and 20,000, 50,000. So you have the cumulative salary for senior and then cumulative salary for junior. Now, what you need to do is you need to start with seniors. So first of all, in this, right, in this output, you can only keep those rows where cumulative salary is less than 70,000. Why? If the cumulative summary, when you reach a particular senior is more than 70,000, obviously you cannot hire, the, hire that particular senior. Similarly, if we look at junior and you are not calculating the senior part, but if you reach a junior and cumulative sum is already greater than 70,000, you can again not keep them, right? So let us try to do this. Let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then let us keep only those rows where cumulative salary is less than seventy thousand. okay now if i go if i you know let me just do this so here you have Cumulative salary is less than 70,000 is only for these two rows for seniors and all the three rows for juniors. So from the seniors, we can only hire these two and from the juniors, all these three are potential candidates, but then we need to take in the consideration how much we have already spent in the seniors recruitment. So let us do this. Let's do select star here and let me go ahead and run this. So it is going to remove that one senior right and now we have okay these two seniors are sure shot higher and then these three are potentials now what we need is let us calculate another cumulative salary 
because now once you have hired the seniors you have 36000 already spent and then if you start summing the salary of the juniors and again do the same thing that whenever your salary reaches or crosses 70000 that means you had you have to stop so what we can do is let us perform another cumulative salary now in this case what we do is sum the salary column again and then over and then this time you do not need to partition by anything you just need to order by the experience and the salary so order by experience and then the salary column and then let us alias this as cumulative salary to okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output this is very interesting right so if i just let me just drag it to the left so now what you have in this table is so these are the two seniors we made sure from this like let me just drag it a uh, slide down okay so here we made sure that cumulative salary less than seventy thousand. this means that these are the two seniors that you can hire and then once you start hiring the juniors so if you hire junior whose employee id is one the total you have spent is forty six thousand. then if you hire another junior whose salary is fifteen thousand, you have spent sixty one thousand. and then if you hire this one as well you are going to spend one hundred one thousand, which is not your budget so now what you can do is save this entire thing in common table expression 2 and make sure only keep those rows where cumulative salary 2 is less than 70,000 and those are the candidates that you ultimately end up hiring. So what we are going to do is save this entire thing in a common table expression 2 and ct2 as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this ct2 let us keep only those rows where cumulative salaries 2 is less than 70,000 and for these what do we need in our output in our output we only need the employee id right if you look at this output return as the employee id and the order does not matter let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our, our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to surpass all the test cases yeah, this is accepted and this is our do it so what we basically did in this question is that firstly we found out the cumulative salary or the running total by experience then we made sure we only kept those rows where cumulative salary or the running total is less than 70,000. It gives us the potential. And then once we have the potential people that we can hire, we again performed a sum of the salary ordered by experience and salary in ascending order. And then we kept only those rows where cumulative salary 2 is less than 70,000. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.